Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. That must mean it's Pilates for all day. How's everybody? Did we get sunburnt yesterday? I'm a bit quiet. I'm not sure. Did we get sunburnt yesterday? Anybody got a little bit of, ooh, a little bit there? Maybe end of your nose? A beautiful day. It was like midsummer, wasn't it? So just um, hang on there. I'm just going to turn my volume up just a little bit. I think I'm a tiny bit quiet. I'm a bit croaky this morning. It's very, I found the pollen count's very high at the moment. I don't know if anyone else is suffering with that. Good morning, Peter, but I'm Rita. Good morning, Lindsay. Hello, everybody. So yes, yeah, so it's Thursday. Hello, Sarah. Um, and we're gonna be doing our Pilates for All lying down, which sometimes sounds like, a, like it might be quite relaxing, but we know it won't be. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Kezza. Uh, so, morning, we're here. So, get your mat. Hi, Kaz. Make sure that you're, uh, I've got a cushion to sit on to begin with, because we will do a bit of seated stretching to begin with. <laughs> I like that, Peter McCann, so the government have outlawed squats. Hello, Sarah, hello, Jean. No squats this morning, Peter McCann. Hooray! Hello, Alison, hello, everybody, says Alison. Good, so we're gonna get ourselves going. Matt, make sure you've got fairly comfy underneath you, because we're gonna be doing quite a bit of side work, and for some people, that can be a bit uncomfortable on your hip. So if you haven't, uh, you could put a cushion under your hip, but the trouble is if they're thick like that, they're gonna put your hips in a funny position. So you'd be better off to just double your mat over. But if you've got nothing else and you need it, then of course use a cushion. It's just gonna make your hips a funny position. Won't kill you. Right, good, so if, talking to you, if you have any injuries, then I want you to make sure you look after them. Don't aggravate them. It's not my drink. Don't aggravate them. So if you know, for example, a particular move is going to really hurt you, hire Diane and Brendan, then just don't do that move. Do something different. I'll just have a little snooze. Um, so I've just put some bird seed out. You can hear all the starlings fighting, fighting over it over there. So good, we're going to get going. Starting seated, we'll do a little warm up, and then we're going to go down to our sides. I have put on Facebook, and I don't know if some of you have all seen, on Monday it's a bank holiday. So rather than just doing our normal routine, normal schedule. I thought I might change it and just put maybe one class in or, or, or maybe two classes but different or longer. So um, suggestion so far is to try Zoom. Um, and if you have used Zoom, it's pretty good actually. Zoom's quite good. It's a way that you can see each other and see me and I can see you. Um, but you don't have to have your screen on. So you can just take part without your screen. It'll be a free thing as usual. Um, so if you're interested in Zoom or not, pop it on Facebook or message me. Um, and what I was thinking of doing was an hour class, an hour Pilates. It will be this level and maybe some slightly higher options. So um, it's kind of it's just intermediate. Can you hear this, darling? Can you hear them? It's about 100, no, it's probably about 25 there, I reckon at least. Um, yeah, so if you want to use, if you fancy Zoom, great. If you think, oh God, no, I hate that, then tell me as well. Um, and obviously we've got an option just to do a longer class on Facebook Live. So if that's what people would prefer, then we can do that. So give me some, hello Paula, hello Deb, who else have I missed while I was yakking on? No one else is going. Good, so we're gonna get going. Onto your side, oh no, onto your bums to begin with. Sit on your cushion. I'm gonna have to keep slipping, that's dry throat this morning. So, um, I'm gonna sit cross legs, you don't have to. We're just gonna kind of get ourselves moving this morning, but sitting, if that makes sense. So shoulders roll back, lengthen through your crown, draw in those stomach muscles, I've just slightly tapped my chin so the back of my neck stretches through a little bit. Good. Are we ready to go? Take a breath in. Start with a little side bend. So side to side. Smoothly, gently. Using our stomach muscles to control the movement. Gently side to side. Two more. One more. Good. Bring yourselves up. Arms up in front. A twist back to center and the other way. So these little stretches, you could be doing these standing, and we're sitting just because of the camera really, but you could do them standing. Quite nice if you warm up in the morning if you're feeling a bit stiff. Arms out wide, sweep them in. Now I'd like to add that chin tuck. I always say tin chuck. <laughs> chin tuck. In we go, open out. In you come. So any of you theatre fans out there, and um, the National Theatre production tonight is, um, oh, I forgot what it is. I was gonna say I can't, no, I just forgot what it is. Um, 
it'll come to me in a minute. It's Tennessee Williams, um, and it's starring uh, Julian Anderson, and it'll come to me in a minute. And it'll be fantastic. So that's at seven o'clock. If you haven't watched any of the theatre yet, it's on YouTube. Then I would recommend that. If I can remember the name of it. Okay. Tell me tight side to side. I was literally just looking at it a moment ago. Honestly, brain. It's not with me. Don't know where it is. Not with me. Side to side. One more. Good. Well done. And again, arms out and bring them in. We'll add a twist in a minute. So open out and in. Lovely and smooth. One more. Good. And then bring those arms in here like we did a minute ago. Thank you, Mr. McCann. Streetcar name design. Is that Amory? Thank you, Amory. Streetcar name design, which I've never seen. Um, but I've seen a clip of it and it does look fab and I've always wanted to watch it. So that is on this evening. You can watch it anytime. It's on for the week. Just go onto YouTube and it's on there. Two more. One more. Well done. Give yourselves a little shake out. Okay, unfurl those legs. Oh, give them a little shake. And we're going to go straight to the side. So I'm going to get rid of my cushion. Remember what I said, make sure the side of you is comfy so you're not really uncomfortable. Okay, over we go, onto our sides. Don't usually start on our sides, do we? So make sure you've got a bit of space. So you can, my hand's got some room there. If you're struggling for space, just do your best. So first of all, one foot on the floor, one leg lifted. And it's lifted about six inches. And then what I'm going to do, guys, and this is kind of a more advanced thing, but you can all do it. I want you to push that leg away. This top leg, push it away. And what that does is it raises your waist off the floor. Now, I'm not expecting fresh air there, but I want you to feel there's less of you, less pressure around the waist on the floor. Let's relax it. So see what I did there? Do you see the difference? So I pushed my leg away, or... I let it sink down. I don't want it to sink, so I'm pushing away, which draws my hips parallel and pulls the waist off the floor. It makes balancing harder, but you can manage. Okay, so to begin with, all we're going to do is just lift and lower that top leg. Now, we're doing quite a lot on our side today. You can always have your hand on the floor for support. And of course, take a break when you want to. It's going to work hard into our bottoms and thighs. Pull in those stomachs, everybody. Quite tempting when we're on our side to kind of forget about the belly. But I want you to suck it in and release it. Don't mind when you pull it in. Just make sure you're pulling it in. One more. Good. Stop that leg there for you. Pop your hand on the floor. I'm going to bring that knee in. And then push the leg away. Now, if this is too tricky for you, quick way to cheat, oh, no, I don't mean cheat, make it a little bit easier, is pop that bottom leg behind you. And that kind of acts then as a balance. So if you want to try that, you can, of course. Two more. One more. Still pushing heavily through that foot. Good, hold it there. Now, if you take that arm away again, pop it up lovely and high for me. Hold it there. Breathe in. Little lift. Little lower. So I can already... Feel that in my backside, just there. Gluteuses, maximus, medius, and minimus. Not Greek medians from ancient Rome. Bottom muscles, all working really hard on this one. Stop it there, and again, see if you can bring that knee forward. I'd recommend a hand in front, and push through. Ooh. Four more, then we'll have a little rest. Three more, breathe. Two more. One more. Oh, can we feel it? Oh, bottom muscles. Okay, we're still going to work around this area. We're going to change it slightly. Excuse me. I want you to bring both legs forwards. So I've brought them quite a long way forwards. And I'm still going to... I have a head here. I can bring it up if I want to. And what we're going to do now is work this top leg. And it's going to look very elegant and very stylish. You're going to take a breath in. As you exhale, bring your foot to your inside knee. Straighten your leg up, take it back down. So it comes in, goes up, goes down. Now, I want you to look like you're auditioning from the Royal Ballet, everybody. So really smooth. Head can be down, that's fine. You could ugh, be up here if you want to. Makes it a little bit more uncomfortable, personally, I think. I prefer down here. One more. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing to my bottom, but my goodness. Now we're going to reverse it. So the leg comes up, 
touches in and slides down. Up, touch in, slide down. Up, touch in, slide down. Two more. One more. Good. Oh, straighten those legs back out. Bring that knee in. Oh, give it a bit of a rub. I always like this in class. If there's a meeting in the meeting room, and we've all been doing that, and we're all going, oh, oh, I think they must wonder what we're up to. Give it a little rub. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're still staying on this side. Sorry. So back here again for me. Okay, so what we're going to do again, lift that top leg, lift your bottom leg too, and we're just going to go for side balance. So stomach muscles pulled in. If you need to keep your hand on the floor, that's fine. Up comes that arm up in the air. And remember that top leg, you're pushing it away. And that's so that we keep these hips stacked, one stacked on top of the other, and we've pulled the waist away from the floor, which just gives us that really strong work through our middle. Suck your belly in, draw up your pelvic floor, and just hold, breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. And relax. Oh, <laughs> now that buttock should be feeling pretty uncomfortable now. So we're going to give it a stretch out. Someone say, no, stay there, guys. Oh, your puppy's joining you, Lindsay. I want to see another photo. You haven't put a photo yet, I don't think. Bring yourselves up to sitting. The puppy will probably be all over you now, Lindsay, won't it? Um, now, the top leg, we're going to stretch that backside out. So bring that leg over the other one. Pull it in towards you. Don't lean backwards. And then draw that knee in. So I'm trying to get this knee into that armpit. So I'm... Oh. <laughs> now, this should be making maybe a tiny tear just running down your cheek because that's tough, isn't it? Can we feel it? Pull it across a little bit more. Are we sitting tall? Oh, pull it across, pull it across. Hold. Breathe in. Now, if you want a little bit extra, you're just thinking, you know, that's not uncomfortable enough. Take the other hand. So I've got my opposite hand with my opposite leg. The other arm's got nothing to do. So I'm going to turn and look over my shoulder and see whether those starlings have demolished that fat suet block yet. They probably have. You'll turn around, hold it there. Oh. Bring yourselves back, give it a shake out. How's that bottom muscle? <laughs> so we are gonna roll onto our other side, all the way over to our other side. And we have the pleasure of that whole sequence all over again. So I'm relaxing my head down. That's the only bit of relaxing we're doing, isn't it? <laughs> Pull in your stomach muscles, bottom foot stays down, push that top leg away. Remember what I said, so we're not here, watch that leg, with pushing it, maybe about an inch or two, but it's enough to really help engage that core. Let's go, lifting and lowering. Nice and smooth. So I don't know if any of you have got any woods nearby to where you live. I mean, I know people around here we do, but if you're in a time out, have you got any woods around you, Anne-Marie? The woods are amazing at the moment. The leaves are incredible. The sound of birds is incredible. If you can get to the woods today, <laughs> if you go down to the woods today, I would really recommend, especially when it's hot, it's a lovely place to have a little stroll. And we, we're blessed by this. We've got a lot of woods, haven't we? Keep breathing. Couple more. One more. Good. Stop that leg there. Put in your stomach muscles. You're all right. Bring that hand down, and we're going to do the knee forward. So knee comes in, push away. That was a bit wobbly then. Did you notice? Hopefully you didn't. But what I did is I didn't reconcentrate. My knee kind of wobbled down and came back. I want that leg to come through straight. So it's quite difficult. The leg wants to droop down. So work hard to keep that. It's as almost as if you're running the leg along a little low table. <laughs> and again, go back to leg lifts again. Push that leg away. Let's go. Lift and lower. Yeah, there's something about going to the woods. It's, it's, the, the trees are so beautiful. It's very soothing. So I recommend going down to the woods if you can today. Breathe. Three more. How's the bottoms doing? Two more. One more. And then let's bring that knee forward. Remember that option. You can always pop your leg behind you. Here we come. Push away. 
So don't forget, on Facebook, tell me what you want on Bank... If it's on Bank Holiday Monday, you want to do nothing, that's fine. I know we all want to go to the pub. We oh, can't arrange that, I'm afraid. But if there's a particular class you're looking for, tell me. I'm not going to do loads of classes, because it is a Bank Holiday, but I thought maybe one or two, maybe one nice long class. Two more. One more. Oh, and collapse. Okay, give that bum a bit of a rub. A bit of a slap, always a good sound in the morning. <laughs> My neighbours must wonder what, well, they know what I'm up to, but they must be like, oh, she's at it again. Right, well done, everybody, that was good. Okay, still on our sides, but we're going to bring those legs forward. So do you remember the ballet thing we did before? Again, you can have your head up if you want to. You can even be up here if you want to, but I'm not. Okay, so top leg. Draw it into the knee. Extend. I bet this is looking fantastic, Diane and Brendan. Hope you're pointing your toes. That's it. How's the puppy, Lindsay? Fed up or still trying to bite you? And again. So it's a smooth move. A little bit seductive. That's what we're after. Bottom is probably talking to you quite loudly. One more. Not in that way, Peter. Okay, back the other way. Leg up. Touch in, slide away. So we're looking for lengthening. So if you think about ballet dancers, their legs are incredibly strong, but they're not bulked up. They're not like weightlifters uh, because they're always looking at length. So they do all their work lengthening, and that's what we're doing. So we're lengthening that leg through. We're strengthening our muscles, but we're also stretching them at the same time. Two more. One more. Oh, <laughs> bring those legs back. I forgot the side balance. In fact, I think that's the right order. So back to a side balance. This time, both legs up. And if you can take that hand away, take it away. Now, I can feel, can you see my top leg's not parallel to my bottom one? I push. Oh, now it is, but that's harder. Arm up in the air. Tummy's pulled in. Everybody breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you're a bit wobbly, don't worry, we're all a bit wobbly. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and collapse. Real muscle building. Oh, we're going to have such pert backsides. Bring yourself up. I mean, obviously you've already got pert backside, even more pert. So I meant to say. So, sit tall. We need to stretch these bottom muscles through. So bring that top leg over. Draw it in. Don't lean backwards. Pull it in a bit more. Ooh, can you pull it in a bit more? Sit tall. While we're doing this stretch, I will tell you what's coming next. We're going to do some arm work. I know, I need to be happy about that. Hand behind your back, rotate. Keep that knee pulled in. If you're not feeling it here, unfortunately, it's not because you're superhuman. It's probably because you've just leant back a little bit. So get yourself tall again, and then pull that leg across. Well, it's a lovely morning again. So another hot one in the southeast. Oh, well done. Give us a little shake out. I'm going to have a quick slurp of my drink, so feel free to do the same. Well done, everybody. Good. Okay, so we're going to do some work for arms now. Now, I know a few of us, arm work really doesn't suit you because you've got maybe a wrist or shoulder injury. If that's the case, you go onto your backs, and what I want you to do, guys, you are going to do some nice leg lowering. You're going to do some sit-ups, that kind of stuff. The rest of us, though, you're not getting off that lightly. Over onto your fronts. So we're going to do a little bit of work. Now, what happens with the wrists is they get really uncomfortable. And they get uncomfortable, to be brutally honest, because they're weak or not as strong as they should be. Mine hurts sometimes too. And it's just because they're not very strong. Also, that push, that position like that is an uncomfortable position for the wrist. So you can weight bear on your knuckles. But I wouldn't do it for long because knuckles are not really designed for weight bearing. But we're going to start. Everyone's thinking, oh my goodness, what we're going to be doing. It's going to be lovely. Hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So, not here, yeah, not here. 
Okay, so you've got that lovely position. Now, move your weight slightly forward so you can feel you're bearing weight on your arms. Remember, you could have your hands like that if it's better for you. And everybody take your knees back about oh, two or three inches. Shift the weight forward. So now you should feel there's more weight on those arms, yes? Go further back with those knees. Now my hands are still beneath my shoulders, so I haven't ended up back here somewhere. Everybody hold. Good. Now all I'm going to ask you to do is take one knee off the floor. So pull your tummy muscles in, little knee lift, pop it down. Other knee lift. Now as you do this, I need you to brace your stomach muscles. So suck your belly in, then release. Suck your belly in, then release. One more. Good, sit yourselves back, have a little rest. Oh, you're gonna hate me after this. Okay, next one. Bring yourselves to exactly where you were before. Elbows tucked in, and we're gonna do a tiny dip down and push up. So it's very small. Don't get those elbows out to the side. Tuck them in, little dip, and back. Little dip and back. One more. Oh, sit back and stretch. Give your wrist a shake. I know, I know it's hard. So we're going to do that one more time. If you want to take your knees off the floor, go for it. Only if you're stable. If you take your knees off the floor and you look like you're in a force 10 gale aboard a ship, then put your knees back down. So let's start again. So come in nice and close. Okay, everyone with your knees down for now. Push those knees back a little bit. Shift the body weight forward. Let's tuck our toes and bring our knees off the floor. Now, try not to be up here. Try not to be down there. You're in that middle place. Put your knees down and hold. Tuck your toes under. Lift. Now, of course, you can stay there. But I'm going back down again. Good work, everyone. Okay, so from this position, lift a knee. Now you could be doing this with knees off the floor, in which case you're lifting a foot or a leg really, aren't you? Okay, that's a rest time everybody. They only come and rest. Oh, I'm glad I've got the door open, it's getting really hot in here now. Give those wrists a little shake out. How was it? It was alright, wasn't it? Good, well done. Over onto your backs, stay sitting. And we're going to do a little bit work, more work for our arms. So I want your hands behind you and my fingertips are pointing towards my bottom. So not here. Bring those fingers round. Now I'm looking up towards the sky. And I've got my tummy muscles pulled in. Elbows slightly bent. We're going to dip back. Push up. Now this is all about the arms. So you can use your stomach, of course. But this is about the arms. Let's go down slowly. Down, down, push up. Now you're probably feeling all kinds of weird and wonderful stretches. If it's too much, go back to the floor, do some leg lowering. And again. Okay, quick ones. Here we go. Quick ones for eight. So it's eight, push. Seven, push. Six, everyone keep breathing, we're new there. Five, four to go, it's last four, push. Three, push. Two, push. Last one, <laughs> Okay, so now it's all hurting, isn't it? So just sit any old house. First of all, we'll give your wrists a shake and we rotate them, rotate them back the other way. Give your arms a shake out. Probably feeling quite a lot of ache across those arms, so let's stretch them. Sit tall. One hand up in the air, pop it behind your head, well it's kind of behind your back of your neck really, and then up goes that elbow. So we're stretching through our hand, uh, triceps, my hamstrings, but sit tall everybody, don't be tempted to flop. Good, release down, other arm up it comes, behind your head, push, push it back. Breathe everybody. Give your arms a little shake out, well done. Thumbs up and most, arms in front, hands go back and down, stretch your chest. Back in, thumbs go down, push back again nice and low, stretch your shoulders. Oh, 
I'm gonna give those arms a shake out. Well done. To the floor now, everybody. So on your backs, roll down gently. Oh, we're gonna have a big old stretch. Find my hands under my sofa. Stretch out, point those toes, have a rock side to side. Good work. So we're gonna do a little bit of leg stretching now. So bring those legs in. Grab hold of your right leg or nip up. I'm doing one nearest the screen, so whatever, it doesn't matter. Bring that leg into the chest. Now hold it behind, behind the back of the thigh. Now those of you who come to class will recognize this one. Now I'm keeping my elbows where they are. I'm not moving my arms at all, but I want you to lift your heel away from your backside. Oh, now you won't get a straight leg there, don't worry. Hold it, can we feel it? Really intense stretch. Release that heel down. And again, up we go. So what we're doing here, everybody, is we're stretching a hamstring. There are three hamstrings, and one of them, this one we're stretching now, often doesn't get stretched because it's, it's a, because of the position of where it is. So we're just really getting into it. So if you're finding this excruciating, join the club. <laughs> okay, now, same idea, but let your arms lengthen. And then up we go, should feel easier. Hold it there, everybody. Now, if you can, I want you to pull your leg in. <gasps> Don't bend the knee. Can we feel that one now? Oh, I should say. Hold it there. Give your ankle a little twist round. Back round the other way. Push your heel up. Can you feel that one? <laughs> Point your toes. Push your heel up. <sighs> Excruciating. Point your toes. Once more. Heel up. Point your toes. Oh, down comes that leg. Give it a little shake. Other one. So remember, we start with the knee right and close. Hold it there. Go on to the little message. You've got to go, Sarah. Oh, bye, Sarah. Have a good meeting. Okay, so pull that in. Nice into chest. And then we're going to lift up and release down. So don't let your arms move, everybody. You've got to keep those arms bent. It's not a fun one. <laughs> no one said it would be fun this morning. Didn't put that on the summary, did I? Have fun. No, I didn't. <laughs> and again, one more time. Hold it there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Release it. Okay, now we're going to straighten the arms. So let the arms lengthen. Up comes the leg. Hold. If you can, pull that leg in. Now, I'm not holding behind my knee joint, guys. I'm holding just below. Or you can hold above. But don't hold through the knee joint because... The knees have got enough to contend with without you adding the strain there. Okay, breath in, push the heel up. Oh, <laughs> point the toe. Oh my God, I washed the roof. Miss Peter McCann, I cleaned that roof yesterday. I scrubbed it and it's covered again. Oh, okay, just, I'm not going to rise to the bait. Those pigeons, they've got a death wish. They really do. Two more. One more. Oh, well done. Okay, release those legs. Give me a little wibble wobble. Okay, we're going to get into our hips a little bit now. I'm going to turn slightly so you can see me. Okay, keep your feet together and open your knees out. I wouldn't say it's very flattering because it isn't. Open those knees out and let them dangle. Okay, so I'm just letting the knees go. Might give a little bounce. Try not to tense everything up. So let the legs go. Okay, now... Probably feeling that in those hips. If it's too much for you, bring your legs back into our normal position. But if you can bear that one for a bit, we're going to add a sit-up in. So hands behind your head. Breath in. Up into sit-up. And then down. As you do your sit-up, exhale. And then inhale. Now, as I said, for some people, it's just too much with those open knees. So by all means, get your legs back in our normal sit-up position. Okay, now I want you to keep going, but one hand's going to be behind your head, and it's going to come through between the legs, and it's going to go back. Exhale through. Now, do you remember, as we rise, we breathe out. As we go back down, we breathe in. And what also happens with the exhale? Come on, you know. Yeah, we pull our tummies in. Pull them in. Release. Change your arms over. Let's go again. Those who want more, you can have both arms. And for some reason, I like to make the shape of a gun. I don't know why that is. 
for some deep and dark breathing. Exhale as you come forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Hold it. Hold it. And release back down. Oh, bring those legs back in. Can we feel it? Bring one knee in, then the other. And I want you to rotate them round. Round we go. Rotating those knees round. And then back down the other way. I particularly like this one if my lower back's a bit uncomfortable. So if anybody's had a bit of lower back pain, I know Sarah, you have. Anybody else's back feels a bit stiff even. This is a good one to do. And you could do it for quite a while. Go back round again. So I mean, we always do stretches for about 20 seconds. But you can use them for longer. You know, don't feel you've got to limit them to that. Back around the other way. Round we go. Three, two, one. Ah, super. Lengthen your legs out. Stretch your arms overhead. We've just got a little twist and then we'll have our relaxation. So for the twist, bring those legs back up. Cross one, let's do our right leg over our left. Arms out wide, pull in your tummy and slowly release the legs to the side. So I put my right over my left and I'm going to go to the left. Over here till both feet. Sometimes you might have gone the wrong way. If you've gone the right, wrong way, you're thinking, well, how will that foot touch the floor? Well, it can't. So you've gone the wrong way. So go the other way. And once you're there, I'm going to ask for the impossible. I want you to relax. Breath in. Exhale, unclench your back side. Soften those arms. Good work, everyone. Just hold it there. Don't go anywhere. Relax your face. Slow down your breathing. Unclench. My legs just moved to there as I just unclench my back side. Okay, back to the middle. So tummy's on tight, nice and slow. Always move out in and out of these twists with care. Other ways, so other leg goes over. Arms are still out. Slowly down they go. Don't worry what your shoulders are doing, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if one leaves off, leaves the floor or whatever. And again, look the opposite way to the way your knees are pointing. Unclench everything. Oh, my back went clonk then. Breathe. Beauty of this, it's also giving you a bit of a bottom stretch, so we're stretching those muscles that we we rather worked hard this morning. Good, everything back to the middle. Give those knees another, another hug in, and if you want to add to it, this is a good one for the back. Tuck your chin in, roll yourself in like a little ball, hold it there. Oh, right, you ready? Time to relax. <laughs> it so is. So I'm not going to do any talking today. I just want you to find your way of relaxing. Um, lie on your back or sit in a chair. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be on the floor. But I want you to think about your breathing, lovely slow breathing, and letting everything soften down. So just check. If you're grinding your teeth, you've got like a tight jaw, relax that. Let your mouth soften. And think about the rest of the game. Like, oh, hello, Debs. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> so get yourself nice and comfortable, everybody. Five minutes. Very valuable relaxation.
yourself back into the room. Start with a little wriggle of your fingers and your toes. Have a stretch, but, but you know, hard work today, Suzanne. It was actually, yeah, bottom muscles. Thank you, Alison. Just gradually bring yourself back to the room. Have a little stretch out. Oh, get those fingers a wriggle, get those wrists a shake round. Yeah, so hard work on those bottoms. So you remember to stretch if your bottom's a bit tight. Yeah, that's a quote. <laughs> then do the stretch with one leg over, pulling your knee in. Remember that's a stretch for the backside. So well done, everyone. Sit yourselves up, doesn't matter, I'm just kneeling. Take a big breath in, reach up. Exhale. And again, big breath in, reach up. Exhale. Fantastic. <laughs> Peter McCann, just check the mirror, hurt or what? I take it you're talking about your wife's bottom there, Peter. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a lovely day. Enjoy the sunshine. Don't get burnt. Hydrate. And I'll see you all again. Keza, thanks, Keza. And give me your feedback about what sort of class you want on the bank holiday Monday. If you want a day off, that's fine. Thanks, Cathy. And if you do fancy an hour class, thanks, Carolyn, then... Um, I quite fancy having a go at Zoom. It might get a bit of a giggle. Um, thanks, Anne-Marie. But if you feel that you'd rather not, then tell me and we could always try. I don't know if I could do Facebook Live and Zoom at the same time. Might be possible. We'll have a look at it. So just tell me what you want to do. If you want nothing, that's fine. Sarah, it was tough today, Sarah. Lindsay as well. How's the puppy? Lindsay, you haven't sent me a photo of your puppy. I want you to put a photo on of your puppy. Is it in the lab? Oh, I hope so. Brilliant. Well done, Diane. Thanks, Brendan. I will see you guys all next week. Yeah, unless you're doing the intermediate one on Friday at six. Thanks, Kaz. Lovely class for you. I enjoyed it as well. Um, I'm assuming the classes will be on. I did uh, last night's class. I didn't do the fast and fit because it was just too hot in here. It's, it's like an oven. Um, but I think it'll be fine by Friday. I think the temperature's dropping. So, see you all soon. Have a great day. What is the theatre tonight? Streetcar Named Desire. Seven o'clock, National Theatre, YouTube. Uh, it should be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. See you all soon, guys. Bye.